Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and welcome back to Let's Play Dash Germany in Hearts Fire 4. We're just gonna basically be continuing from where we last left off. So we're still worth the allies. Um I think I've gotten these guys to give me back the estates which I'm supposed to control as soon as I unpause the game. But you know, fingers crossed, hopefully it all works out. Um so in France, we're kind of in a an interesting position because we've almost been like completely encircled which is pretty much bad so I'm trying to figure out like how exactly do I also I was supposed to do the thing on stream but I didn't uh, there we go close that then so basically I can't let them take this province this province right now is extremely important and the Dutch aren't in the war. We are still just fighting against them. I don't know how... What's that going to be done? It's going to be done in February. So quite a while from now. It's entirely possible that they do join the Allies at some point. And if they do, then we'll just attack them. And hopefully everything will be A-OK. -okay. So whoever's attacking the Luxembourg, you can stop that for now. I kind of want everybody to stop their plans for the time being. Because right now, I do need... I want you guys to stop talking. I want you guys to stop attacking. I do want, like, most of you to push into this province. Just so I can have a little bit more breathing room. What are you retreating to? I don't know. You just try to push your way in through here. And we have a bunch of troops over here in Russia. Like, have I given you plans yet? I haven't. So we kind of have to figure that out right now. I guess I have a bunch of troops here. But they should be mostly easy to take care of. Because they shouldn't have, like, any supplies. So we can basically just, I think, just kind of walk up and kill them. And are you all purple? You are all purple. Here are these guys. I'm going to have you frontline just up here in Syria. Yeah, and everybody, everybody can just go there. And then we'll push our way through North Africa. I mean, Ethiopia and um, parts of Northern Africa are on our side in the war. But I don't think they have any troops. So they are just going to basically get run over. And there's not much we can actually do about that. Also, you know, they got a lot of guys just kind of all over the place because they can't really... Well, they don't have supplies or anything, so we can kind of just kill them. And it sh we, they, they shouldn't be able to really threaten us, I think. Government idea, bulwark against bullshit has been removed because it's prerequisites. Okay, apparently we're not, uh, we're not fighting the bullshit fix anymore. I don't think there's really any communist countries left. In the world, are is there? Um, Paraguay and Republican. Oh yeah, our puppet is. Maybe maybe that's why, because we have because we have a communist puppet. They're like, nah, you can't be against communism if you have a puppet of them. Um, and did I actually? I never got these states back. Like I was supposed to. I I did the thing where. Peg I T A. Peg. Like, they're supposed to... Yeah, give me control of these states, please. Thank you very much. And, like, I'm hoping that they give it to us, but... Uh... No, apparently... It's a bit broken. I have to kind of figure that out at some point in the future. We did push our way in through here. Apparently there's actually like nobody on the border right now. So we can just kind of walk in a little bit. Do you know, take a little bit, take a handful of territory. So you guys are down here. How, like, are you confident in your uh, plan? Inferior enemy, so... You don't, you guys can attack for now. Wait, are you... Are you the small line here, or are you... Actually, I don't know which ones you are. Oh, yeah, because you're these guys. But you feel pretty confident, so you guys can attack. 
push your way through uh, southern Spain. Spain's not actually in the war yet. They will join at some point, but I just don't really feel like it's necessary to get them involved. And they got all these British troops, not really, uh... They're just kind of stuck. Yeah, and then all of you guys... Like, basically all of these troops in the middle. Where are we fighting? Like, I we can't really push into, um... Into India, because we don't actually have a border with them. Like, Afghanistan would not join our faction, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they have no reason that they would want to join. We could attack Afghanistan. Uh, they have 20 divisions, just fight wars. It's probably going to take like a, 240 days is a long time. What about you? 240 days as well. Um, that's also not super, super useful. We can deploy troops. No, but you're neutral, so we actually can't push our way through in uh, through China. Because they actually won't join the war, which is annoying. I mean, they should. They would easily outnumber everybody in India and everybody in Malaysia. But they just don't have the... Uh, they just don't want to. And who are actually, who are the major players in this war? It's the UK and the United States. Fair enough. Those, those make sense. Uh, anybody else feel confident? Yellow does not. Okay, let's see if we can maybe take the city before the, uh, before the AI does something. But I don't think we're going to need too many guys in Africa. Most of you guys just need to deploy in the west. Like, I'm not even too sure where. So we're just going to make a, a few fallback lines. And then, yeah, you just walk over here. And then we'll figure out what to do with you afterwards. Now they should all go. You guys also don't have plans. Maybe we can send another army down into Africa. Like in Ethiopia, maybe. So all of you go to this city here. And we said orange, right? Okay. So then the deep... The deep, like, yellow color. Where can I send you? I guess you just fall back and get to, like, Germany as well. And that should all be good for now. You're not actually in an army. Like, you probably should be, because you get more bonuses if you were. Okay, we did take a, a little bit more territory. Okay, you're definitely not going to take into Luxembourg. I think that province is just undefended. So let's see if we can just kind of capture that. And okay, so the Red Army. You guys don't have a plan. So your plan is basically going to be take Paris. That, that's your objective. And yeah, you guys also do not have a plan. So your plan is going to be... Just like that, I guess. Hey, Spain, you want in the war now? There we go. Like, I don't even know what happens in their battle, but they're actually in the same province. It's very weird. I think the British guy is just going to die. But Spain does have the uh, their border defended, so it's pretty good. What series will you do after the German Empire? Well, I was going to play some Kaiserreich, and I was also going to play another mod called Red World, which is based on if the Soviet Union won the Cold War. Uh, you can vote for what country you want me to play on in that series if you go to the Discord. Which should be linked underneath the stream, I don't know. Somewhere on my YouTube channel though, you can go to the Discord and you can actually vote for what country you want me to play as. Okay, so you guys all kind of redeploy. Why are you not happy? Vision? Okay, so you're not all in position. That's fair. And the black army. Yeah, they're just kind of like going all over the place. It's kind of like a mess. 
Delete this offensive line for now. Just everyone get to where they need to be. Like, I don't know where you're going. And these, these two British troops should actually die pretty quickly. Uh, Black Army, whole position. You guys attack in. And why are you not happy? People not in position. Okay. Hello, uh, Puggy Vegeta. Go take Mets. Because I don't know why they, uh, they left them undefended. Okay, most of these troops actually redeploying quite quickly, actually, which is quite nice. So we're ready. We're almost ready for our um, invasion into Syria in Egypt. Delete this offensive line. Yeah, like that. Just take the take the Suez Canal, basically. Sure, you can. You guys can all give me stuff. It's absolutely a okay. Like I don't really. I don't really mind. I just got all these British troops that are just kind of around. I'm hoping that my my satellite states can kind of just kill them, but I don't know. I don't know how much hope I have in them. Yeah, you guys are almost all deployed. And I want you guys to all strategically redeploy. Well, like. Go here, and that should get them to automatically strategically redeploy. Oh, we have a 24 stack that's just not doing anything. Awesome. Okay, so we can assign you under a new uh, general. 4-3 uh, sounds pretty good. And I can make you... Um, like a dark purple. And where, where am I going to send you guys right now? Okay, so the Spanish are pushing their way uh, north, which is good. Uh, yellow, I want you to advance. You guys should go here. Luxembourg should fall pretty soon. And I gotta still figure out how to get these states under my control. Because they're supposed to be mine, but... I've kind of messed it up a little bit. And hopefully, actually, are you guys getting the, you know, supplies here? I mean, it looks like you should be. I'm assuming it's just because it's very hot. Hello, hostile. Yeah, so it looks like my, my satellite states are very slowly dealing with all of this. So that is great. God, these borders are beautiful. Look at Eastern Europe. It's just lovely over there. Okay, so the Black Army. I also got what, you guys who advance, if you can. Who are you? Oh, you're the guys ready to deal with the Dutch, but the Dutch aren't really doing anything right now. And I want to push into Luxembourg. Is there any way I can, like, um, cut Luxembourg off? I know Luxembourg should have a lot of supplies just because it's the capital city. We'll just push our way into Belgium, and hopefully we can get Belgium to capitulate or something like that. And we have like a hundred thousand, we have hundreds of thousands of men probably over here. And I'm not like too sure where to deploy them, because I don't think we need anybody more in France. Do we actually have naval superiority over... I believe we have naval superiority over these areas, which is great. So I think we can't maybe start planning an invasion of the British Isles. It's just, I don't know. Maybe we just need to train a bunch of Marine Divisions. You know what, cancel these Panzer Divisions. I don't really want them right now. I think I want to create... Actually, good question. Do I have Marines? Did I ever even research them? I didn't. We should research Marines. And then we're going to have to invade the British Isles. I mean, we could also push our way into, like, Denmark and Sweden and stuff. But I don't really know if that's necessary at the moment. Let's, see, let's once again, let's try to push our way through here. Okay, so we've created a little bit of an enclave here. 
getting us around. I think Belgium should actually maybe capitulate somewhat soon. Um, once we t I guess they have most of the major cities. So there's not much we can actually do right now. Oh, but Luxembourg should fall. There we go. So Luxembourg is going to capitulate. Not that it really matters. Yeah, we got a, we got a handful of equipment. That's quite all right. And we'll try to push the British and the Americans into the sea. Oh, you guys also aren't attacking, which you should be. Yeah, you guys don't even have a plan. You guys also don't really have a plan. Yeah, so the Black Army, your job is going to basically push here. And that is all 24, right? I think so. There's just a British troop kind of blocking the, uh, the tool tip. Okay, so Yellow Army, your front line I think is a little bit too long. So I'm going to delete that. Your front line is going to be basically there, but I don't want you in... I guess, yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, Red Army, your front line is also like too long, so I'm going to reduce that to basically be like right there. Uh, where's you, right? Yeah, I'm going to increase your front line, so you're actually at the Spanish border. And then you guys are basically just... Right now, you're actually in one province, which doesn't help us much. Your front line is going to be like that, and you're going to offensively line your way into uh, Brittany. And that should be good. And then hopefully these guys can be prepared to attack relatively soon. You guys are going to push your way into Normandy. Red Army is going to push their way to the coast. Like that. And then that should hopefully mostly be okay. And you guys are going to offensively line your way here. And not there. And that should mostly work out, I think, A-OK. -okay. We're going to wait for all of our troops to get in position, obviously, before we actually do the final attack. Are you... What color are you? Are you you're these guys? Twenty three divisions. I don't know where I actually want you right now because I don't think we need you to. Actually, we'll probably have like them deploy here and push north, and these guys attack from the south. This is the north. That's south. Doesn't matter. Either way, we're gonna have two armies to attack the Dutch in February, which actually you know it's it's coming up quite soon. Yeah, we're gonna have, we have a lot of troops just ready to attack. And you guys, what, what's your problem? You're mostly just not in position. Oh yeah, these planes, if we can actually deploy them to aid you guys, would definitely be more useful than what they're doing now. Red... Okay, no, you're there, so you're actually, you're fine. So get their planes to redeploy. We have lows. We're actually getting a, importing a ton of shit we don't need. We need tungsten. I guess we'll get it from the from Portugal. We need rubber. We'll get that. I guess from the Dutch. It's it's kind of difficult because like a lot of the stuff we're getting. Soon we are not going. We need twenty more. We'll get that from the Russians then. And that should be good. Rubber. I don't think we have any puppets that give us rubber. Not really. So. Bit of an issue there. But soon we'll do like a massive attack over there. I mean, we also like, on the other hand, we could just like attack Denmark and stuff. But it doesn't really, it takes a long time. It's going to take 185 days. Which is quite a while. Like attacking anybody, 185 days. I know it'll be, it'll be a lot faster once, um... Yeah, you guys are actually almost all in position. Fantastic. And you guys, I, I'm guessing I'm going to have you deploy. Is this Wasteland? 
Or these okay, no, I think this is actual provinces. So we might have you deploy over here and push your way this way. But like I'm still not a hundred percent too sure where I want you. Because I'm gonna put you in Africa, I'm just like not too sure where. Because we don't even need the troops in Africa. Okay, is everybody like ready more or less to attack? Everybody's in position.